Okay guys, so in this video we're going to show you how to fix a hoverboard that has a wheel spinning out of control. So first off, let me show you what this is doing. See, I turn it on, that wheel's immediately spinning. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut the power off. I've already unscrewed the outer shell just to save some time here. Um, so all these screws are out. So we're going to unplug this. As you can see here, it's connected. You could work on it like this, but it's really easy. You can just pull that plug right out and that's out of your way. Now next, I don't know if you guys can see this, but there are going to be uh, four screws holding the frame in. Right there, right there, and then there's two on the other side. So let me take these out for you. I'll try to be as quick as I can. I know nobody, most people fast forward these videos. I'm not that good at editing, so I'll try to be as quick as I can here. One out. Two. Now I should mention some boards are going to have two additional screws holding the frame on and those screws are going to be right by the wheel and on the inside. However, on 99% of boards to save on time and parts, they don't put all eight screws in and really all eight are necessary. These four are more than enough to, uh, to hold everything together. Um, so we got three out in the last screw here. Now, if this doesn't fix the problem, most likely we're going to need a new gyroscope. And a gyroscope uh, is, oh, that's not it. See, okay, I got one to show you guys here. Uh, but yeah, basically if this doesn't fix your problem, you're going to need a new gyroscope. And this is pretty easy. Just four screws to remove it and four screws back in. But this oftentimes fixes these. So we'll give this a try first and see if it fixes our problem. So we're going to get that out of the way. Oh, okay, so you can see here we got this foot pedal. And it looks like I already fixed this board for somebody. And that, so it is, it's definitely a gyroscope. Normally this piece isn't missing out of here. Um... Actually, let me try this one more time. Actually, you know what? Let's okay, we'll flip this over. Now, I don't know if you guys can see. A lot of times an air pocket is the problem. I can't tell if that is the issue here. Um, so we're going to slap on a new gyroscope. But normally what I would do to try to fix it first is cut a little piece out of there. Um, I'll show you. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. But a lot of times these board gets get air pockets in them. And that's why you have that problem. So I'm going to cut a little bit of a bigger chunk out of here. But I'm also going to wind up putting in a new gyroscope. So I wasn't expecting to have to do this. But uh, it looks like that did not fix the problem. So we're going to flip this back over. Um, let see. Can you see everything? I'm going to unplug this wire. And... Oh crap, this is going to turn into a longer fix. I'm going to have to take the battery off here too. And guys, when you're fixing hoverboards, uh, you're going to realize that this is pretty common. You think you got an easy fix and you wind up having to do more stuff. Uh, I kind of know what I'm doing here, so I don't really feel the need to mark the parts and put them in cups. But if you haven't done this a lot, you're probably going to want to uh, label your parts, maybe take a picture before you you take these apart because otherwise you sometimes get confused where everything goes back together and believe it or not the shell alone has five different size screws holding it on um, so there are a lot of a uh, lot of parts in motion here okay so Okay, so I got my battery casing off, so what I'm going to do is, oh man, nothing can be easy. They had a zip tie holding this on for some reason. 
Okay, so that's disconnected. We're going to take four screws out of the gyroscope now. You know, this sounds like something may be goofed up. Let me see if I can take a look. Oh no, everything looks lined up correctly. Okay, we got that out. that one out and we're just going to want to make sure that our there are male and female gyroscopes so we're going to want to make sure that the part we're replacing this with is the same part that we're taking off so here's the old one here's the new one uh, I think you can tell I think this transistor is maybe a little bit fried um, it's a little bit dark so Let's see here Okay, so we got these four screws we're going to put back in. It's pretty easy to swap out a gyro. If you guys need to know where to buy a new gyro, uh, let me know. I'll put some links in the description. Actually, you don't got to let me know. I'll put some links in the description box to uh, where you can get a new gyro. And like I said, always try to cut a hole in the foot pedal first. If that doesn't fix it, move on to other problems. And sometimes people say the nipples can go bad, ha ha, lol. Um, the nipples are the little rubber pieces that stick up into there, and that basically lets the board know whether it's supposed to go forward or backwards. Um, so let's see here. You know, it's actually kind of good that this uh, wasn't as easy as a fix because you guys are going to learn some different uh, troubleshooting tips here. Okay, so that new gyro screwed in, we're going to reconnect this piece here. Oh, oh man, we got glue on there. Nothing, like I said, guys, nothing can ever be easy. And if any of you guys are thinking about fixing hoverboards on Craigslist as a little side hustle, it's good money, but, it, you know, sometimes you get somebody in, you tell them one price, and then you wind up having to do all this extra work. It requires extra parts. Um... Are you serious? Oh, okay, I just had it backwards. Okay, so that's plugged in now. Let's see. Hmm. Now we'll put this battery box back on. And a little trick, sometimes if you clip it up in there, it goes on a little bit easier. And one other challenge with doing fixes is just getting everything to fit back together. A lot of times this stuff doesn't want to, they get everything crammed in there so good, they have a lot of tools that you and I probably don't have. Um, so sometimes it's not as easy to do it when you're just working with, you know, a manual screwdriver and needle nose pliers, but we'll, we'll see if we can get this here. Sorry guys, this video is going to run long, so feel free to uh, fast forward through me. Um, doing some of this stuff here. And right now what I'm doing is screwing just four screws holding the battery shell back on. That's basically gonna gonna keep everything in place here. And you may find that things aren't wanting to reconnect for you. Uh, or I'm sorry, that the shell's not gonna wanna snap on clean for you. And if that's the case, just take everything off, try to tuck the wires back, and I mean, you can see how you got very little clearance. So, you know, try to get everything uh, back down as good as possible.
now we gotta screw the frame back on, and you're gonna wanna make sure you hold it up and steady because if the frame isn't on perfectly, the board's not gonna wanna snap together. And for anyone who thinks repairs are expensive, but don't get them wrong, they are. You repairs could cost, as long as you didn't overpay for a board, your repairs could very easily cost, uh, you know, a couple hundred bucks. Um, but, you know, it's because these parts aren't cheap, they're hard to get. And uh, repairing these things, though it can be easy, can also be very difficult. So I'm putting the frame screws back on, just four screws, like I said when I took it off and showed you guys. We have two more to go on. There's going to be one more in here. And it's kind of hard to uh, narrate this video and concentrate on what I'm doing. Normally I'm probably a little bit quicker at this. Okay, so the frame is back on. So this piece has four prongs. This one's going to get plugged in here. And we're, you know, you kind of going to want to tuck that away. Something that happens, these things, if they get in the way of where the screw goes through, you can sometimes wind up putting a screw through your board and breaking it. Uh, this piece is going to go back into the other port on the new gyro. And hopefully, my friends, we are back in action. Let's see if we can get this. Like I said, these shells don't want to screw on a lot of times. Sometimes you got to force it, punch it. Uh, don't worry about being too gentle with these things. And I normally like to go, like, try to get some corners in first, and it'll lock everything in place, and in the middle screws will just tighten in and kind of support everything. And it looks like I'm lucky here, and this is going to snap together easy. I'm not going to have to go messing with everything again, opening. You know, sometimes it's kind of a pain. This won't snap back on. i got to take the battery case off again, try to tuck the wires in better. But it looks like this case is going to snap on nice and cleanly. And in just a second, guys, as soon as I get this case tightened back on, it's going to be the moment of truth as to whether we fix this board. And as you can see, something that started out as a real easy fix, just cutting a little uh, air pocket and a foot pad can easily turn into an issue. I could actually power it right on right now and see. That's actually not a bad idea. What I should have done is powered it on and seeing if my fix worked, because if it didn't, I'm going to have to take this thing all over, apart all over again. Okay, so I'm going to turn it on right now, and if the wheel is not spinning out of control, it should be fixed. That did not fix my problem. Okay, guys, well, I showed you nothing here. That didn't fix the problem. 99% of the time, one of those two things will fix the issue. Uh, did not fix it this time. So I'm going to cut this video off. At least you learned how to uh, take this apart. And I'm going to continue kind of troubleshooting this so this video doesn't run into an hour. Uh, but thanks for watching. Share this video with anyone you think it might help. This video does illustrate how to fix a gyro. It's just that my problem wasn't a gyro. So thanks for watching, guys. Give this video a thumbs up. Uh, share it on a forum or with other people you think it might help. And uh, check out more videos, guys. Thanks for watching.